Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Graber Post Buildings weather camp with a nice picture. There are a few more clouds up to the north, but lots of sunshine today, and that's going to be the case all week long through the weekend. Here's what we're tracking on the weather headlines. Wonderful weather. Sunscreen required. If you're going to be outdoors for any length of time this week in the weekend, put on that sunscreen. Rain returns. Not for a bit, though. 80 in Terre Haute. Two points down to 58. Feels like 81. We're having a heat wave. North-northwest wind at 7, so we got something to stir up the atmosphere. Pressure falling a bit now from 30.04. 50s, with the exception of Florida at 60. 50s this morning, 56 Paris, 57 Terre Haute, Bloomington, Washington, and Effingham, 53 in Mattoon. Highs today, I think we're done with these now. Bloomington, late high of 80, 82 at Vincennes, Terre Haute, 83 at Paris, and 82 over at Effingham. Current temps north to south, Paris is at 80. Go over to Greencastle, they're checking in at 77. Bloomington at their high for 80, Vincennes 82, along with Newton. Casey and Mattoon checking in at 80 degrees. Winds out of the north, northwest right now. Yeah, 5 to 10 mile an hour range. These are wind speed averages from airports. 12 at Mattoon, 13 at Effingham, 7 at Terre Haute. Winds will diminish a little bit tonight. But right now during the evening, if you're headed out, something to stir up the atmosphere. And on the metro view, not much in the way of cloudiness out there. Just a few fair weather clouds. So if you're going to a sporting event, picnic, dinner, movie, whatever, shopping, you're in good shape tonight. Temps by midnight, 65. Headed for another night in the 50s. Big picture, look at how dry much of the country is. From the Rockies to the East Coast for the most part. High pressure's in control of our weather right now, so we're enjoying a nice stretch of weather after the rain on Sunday for some. You can see regionally there, little diving cloud cover right there. Little bitty shower activity maybe, but they are so dry, that's probably dissipating before it hits the ground. If you get anything out of that, it's going to be a sprinkle, I think, not much. We'll go mostly clear tonight. Lots of sunshine coming up again tomorrow. We'll repeat that pattern Wednesday night into Thursday and just keep going right through the weekend until we get into Monday. That's when things will start to change a little bit. Until then, though, great stretch of weather, seven-day precipitation. We're just going to let this roll through. Watch your days up here. Other than cloud cover, maybe a hit or miss shower somewhere close to us until we get to Sunday night late after midnight going into Monday. Then there comes a cold front pushing through. That'll push all the rain out of here should by Tuesday. It doesn't look to be a lot of rain. Scattered showers with a rumble of thunder. So a stretch of dry weather from now right through the weekend. Perfect timing. Tonight, mostly clear, cool 56 for the low. Give the AC a break again tonight. Just a light north wind, but a very nice evening coming up. And then tomorrow, Pretty much a repeat of today. 80 degrees, pleasant, mostly sunny with a light north wind. Now, we've been talking about sunshine on the extended forecast. Look at that. Right through the weekend. Gradual warming there. And humidity will get a little bit higher each day as well. Dew points will nudge up a bit, but nothing unbearable like we had just a few days ago. We're not talking heat indexes of 110 or higher. Then Monday, we'll put in scattered showers and storms. Tuesday as well as that cold front pushes through. And that front, which it moves on through, is going to cool us off just a little bit. We're back with Grant and Sports after this.